Welcome to our final module of Luxury Attitude Training. In this module, we will be able to fully explain the debt versus gift concept. In the first part, we're going to discover how the brand promise becomes the employee's debt vis a vis each guest. To satisfy the guest, this debt needs to be repaid and surprised if we want to fully engage our guests. In the second part we will focus on how to surpass this debt, thereby putting ourselves in a gift situation and we will adopt the right reflex 1 plus 1 equals 3. What should be your goal as a luxury player? As a luxury player, your everyday goal is to make guests happy. You should always deal in happiness, and feel honored to welcome each guest, who walks through the door of our hotel, and you must do it with all your heart and with feeling. Let's understand the mechanisms of gift versus debt concept. Remember that as early on as the first module, we learned that every luxury brand makes a promise to their guests. What is this promise were debts that was due by the luxury employee? But is this the only debt that the employee has vis a vis his guests? To answer this question let us now look at the concept of the gift. The greatest gift is without a doubt when our guest give us his presence. These gifts are multifaceted. Let's find out our guest gift to us. First of all he's the one who came to the brand location. His presence is justified by an important reason. He is willing to invest a considerable sum. Finally he's giving us his time. How can we not forget it or not take this gift into consideration? In luxury, whatever the circumstances may be, all guests by their very presence we're making us a gift. The gift and the debt, govern human relations in society, well beyond the professional context. This is what explains the impact of the guest relations, even if we do a favor for a friend and expect nothing in return. It is probable that your friend will feel indebted. This mechanism can be seen in the professional world, and a luxury in particular. It is essential to understand that the gift creates the debt. When we find ourselves in the position of the guest, we do not always get the impression that employees feel indebted. Here is a little collection of phrases that show that the true value of the guest gift is not always appreciated. Many employees seem to consider that the guest should give more than his presence, his time, his money, his trust, and his loyalty. When a guest comes into a restaurant, a boutique, or a hotel, he is making us a gift. This means that the employees are indebted towards him. All the more so because the guest may have already paid for his booking. This is the case with an airline for example. The simple fact of serving and advising the guest is not enough to be counted as a gift on the part of employee. In this case, they will have simply responded to requirements. Debt and gift will cancel each other out, nobody knows anything to anyone. Through providing special attention, the employee will then be in a gift situation towards the client as such in turn he then places the client in the debt situation. To create the gift situation the guest's expectations must be surpassed those that correspond to the brand promise. If a guest leaves us after our debt to him has been settled, he will have no reason to come back for a repeat purchase and will not necessarily speak highly of us. The brand promise has been kept. What could be more normal? The guest is satisfied that's all. We've done nothing to make it worth it to come back. The more competition there for the brand, the higher the chances that the guest will be seduced by another offer the next time. If a guest leaves us before our debt to him has been settled, he will not come back and will give negative feedback, she will be our detractor. Of course the debt is not as high as before because the client leaves with the feeling that the service and the experience did not live up to the brand promise and his gift. The brand is still indebted to the guest. This guest will not come back. 
it is even likely that he will give negative feedback of this experience to settle this debt. For example a negative opinion complete with explanation posted on TripAdvisor. When a guest leaves us the impression that he has been given a gift, he would have every reason to come back, as well as to share their expressions with others. In addition to giving us his loyalty, he will become a promoter. Not only has the employee kept the brand promise, he's gone further by giving of himself attention, personalization, and initiative. The guest was certainly not expecting this. This puts the guest in the situation of debt because he received more than expected. He will therefore become a loyal guest and will give positive feedback of this experience by posting it or liking it on the social networks. He will be the first ambassador of our brand. In every successful guest relations, the employee's added value should be perceived as a gift by the guest. In other words our gift creates the debt of the guest. As he feels indebted to us, he will naturally tend to want to repay this debt, by speaking about his experience and giving us his loyalty. He will become our promoter. Let us summarize the key learnings of this module. The gift creates the debt. Luxury brands guarantee the excellence of product or a service, and this is what creates our guest's desire. When a guest comes to you, he is making you a gift. This means you are indebted, you will do everything you can do to repay this debt and delight guest. In turn, your debt creates a further debt for your guest and his loyalty will follow. Let us develop the right reflexes so that you are automatically in gift mode. In luxury, we should always imagine the guest leaving with a bag. A bag containing their purchase, plus a virtual bag. A bag containing nothing, except for special moments and memories. The role of the colleague is to fill that bag. And that's what allows us to know for sure that we went beyond the debt by giving that gift. The concept of the virtual bag does not only apply to the retail and sales sector. Whatever the situation, the luxury players should fill the client's virtual bag. How can this be done? To answer this question, let's take an example of a real-life situation. In a plane during the night, a business class passenger asked for an extra blanket. Let's discover the hostess's answer. She immediately comes back with carefully folded blanket and with a smile and places it over the passenger. Which of these four statements corresponds to these situations? The hostess reacted like most hostesses would. She responded to the client's needs showing courtesy and efficiency. Her debt was therefore settled, yet she did not bring any added value to her service. She did not go beyond the debt in order to be in gift mode. She failed to leave the emotional souvenir and made no effort to enchant the client. The virtual bag was therefore not filled. What else could the hostess have done? Among all the possibilities, imagine that the hostess takes two initiatives. The hostess offers to unfold the blanket and then gently places it over her. The hostess brings an extra pillow at the same time as the cover. The hostess discreetly calls the client by her name, she has consulted the list of passengers before coming back with the blanket. The hostess checks, in front of the client, whether the overhead ventilation is not too cold. The hostess offers the client a hot drink to warm her up. Before taking leave, the hostess asks the client if she can do anything else for her. After 10 minutes, the hostess comes back to make sure that her client is now warm enough. By adding any of those two initiatives, apparently the client is more than satisfied, not only did the hostess settled her debt, she surpassed it. She was in gift mode and created an exceptional moment that would remain in creating her client's memory. No doubt the client will evoke in this situation to describe the quality of service delivered by this airline, 
in this case the client's virtual bag was well truly filled. Using this example, we are going to discover the 1 plus 1 equals 3 reflex. The fact that we have responded to the client's request means our debt is written off but this is no guarantee of a subsequent gift. We can mark one point. In our example, the hostess responded to the client request to bring her a blanket. She is therefore fulfilled her debt, but has not taken any initiative. She delivers satisfaction into her client but does not use the gift to bring emotional added value to her service. No extra points for her. In the second example, in addition to responding to her request, the hostess makes a gift to the client. She took one of several initiatives thereby exceeding expectations. Thanks to her emotional added value, the hostess has gone beyond the threshold in terms of her client's satisfaction. She managed to create customer delight thereby filling the virtual bag. She gained the supplementary point and doubles the intended effect. This is how the 1 plus 1 equals 3 works. The client's emotional experience is all at more intense because it is gone from simple satisfaction to delight. For luxury players, the 1 plus 1 equals 3 should be a permanent reflex. The minimum being may I do anything else for you, sir, or what else can I do for you? Let us review the key learnings of this module. We will use this final module dedicated to gift and debt to overview our You Make Luxury Come True training program. Here is a summary of the points covered. A new guest is precious. It is our role to do our utmost to win this guest and secure his or her loyalty. His loyalty will depend on his experience when in contact with the brand and its employees. This experience is both functional and emotional. The first experience delivered is the functional experience. This means that our guests' expectations will be satisfied. But in order to secure the loyalty of luxury guests, the functional experience will always be complemented by the emotional experience. And this is where the three luxury service dimensions takes in. To deliver the three dimensions of service, employees need to be 100% available for their guests. They should be on whatever the circumstances despite any problems, despite the context. The professional dimension responds to the functional experience. It is the employee's thorough knowledge of his profession that will respond to the guest's expectations unto the brand. Seen from this perspective, a conscientious employee could reasonably hope to settle his debts towards the guest using the professional dimension. But skills alone and thorough knowledge are not enough to touch the emotions. The main channel is everything that is human, attention, consideration, recognition, and personalization. In other words, all the ingredients of the human dimension. The five senses, sight, hearing, smell, touch, taste, will be awakened by the aesthetic dimension. And it is the combination of the human dimension and the aesthetic dimension that creates the guest's emotional experience. Finally. This emotional experience is the employee's real gift. For this, the employee alone is capable of surpassing the debt and creating guest loyalty. All luxury players need to bear this point in mind, day in, day out. This is what clarifies their mission and their responsibilities. It explains why, you make luxury come true. today, tomorrow, so much more than yesterday, to make a difference, you need to make a gift to each of your guests by being generous, surpassing requirements, taking initiative. Your gift, or the sum total of what you have to give, is the materialization of your added value. It creates guest loyalty and make your guest the ambassador of our brand. Now that you know the full potential of 1 plus 1 equals 3 to increase your performance vis a vis the guest, I encourage you to think about how you can put this into practice.
Now that you have completed the 10th module of our luxury attitude training, in order for you to receive your completion certificate, please click our training check-in form in the description below, fill up the necessary details and click submit. Once you have submitted, the certificate will be sent out to your email within 48 hours. Thank you once again for completing the course.